Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. And this week again, I'm gonna be on the road. We'll be back in the studio next week, but I've got really only one big topic I wanna to talk about. Uh, it's getting close to the holidays and there's not really a whole lot in the drone news, but there was a big topic on Friday that came out and it's DJI that was put on a so-called blacklist. So we'll talk about what that means and I'll give you a quick update on Pilot Institute as well. So let's get going. The first thing this week kind of relates to something we've been talking about for quite a while now, which is DJI being put on some kind of list. Now, we talked about it two weeks ago, the NDAA, which was the National Defense uh, Act that was supposed to be going into Congress and, and, uh, and get approved. The, there was a clause in there that was removed to prevent uh, using drone technology from China, other countries, including China. And, um, and so what we've seen this last Friday came out on the day of the, the, the release the, of my news updates, uh, this big story breaks out that the Department of Com Commerce has put DJI on a blacklist. Now, it's not really called a blacklist. It's called an entity list. Uh, that's the, 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 the correct term from the Department of uh, Commerce. And in this list, what we see is a lot of confusion. There were a lot of articles out there that were trying to get clicks. You know how it goes. And a lot of it came across the wrong way. So a lot of you have sent me questions asking, can I still buy a DJI drone? Can I still fly my DJI drone? Can I still um, even buy parts for it in case something breaks in the future? And, uh, and the short answer is yes, this is likely going to have very little effect on you as the consumer, something that you may more than likely never even see uh, any effect on the way that you fly your drone, on the way that you purchase your drone and all of that. The bottom line is that there, there's been a lot of articles, like I said, uh, I found only several places that were actually reporting this correctly. Now we've seen them from uh, the, the, the large news media, which don't always understand drones, don't always understand aviation at all. But a place where I found uh, Drone Excel, if you go on Drone Excel, there's a good article there. I'll put a link down there and uh, where they kind of talk about the actual effect that this is going to have on you as the consumer. And, uh, and like I said, the, the bottom line is this. The bottom line is this entity list is a list of companies that U.S. companies cannot do business with without getting special approval. Imagine that you are a company that sells parts to DJI and you're based in the US. Now you will have to get special approval before you can sell them any of your technology. That's really it. Quite frankly, uh, I hate the term nothing burger, but this is a big nothing burger. Uh, there, there was really uh, not a whole lot more. And, and I've read quite a bit about this quite extensively. I actually found the list. Uh, where these entities are. It looks like the department added another 70 people, 70 companies, I should say, on this list uh, with this batch. And, um, and the list is 413 pages long, if I remember correctly. It's a really, really long list. And it includes a lot of, country, a lot of businesses from China, but there's also countries from other places. There were countries from Germany, Ireland, I saw in there when I was scrolling, Canada is in there. So they, it's not only just one specific company. This is a pretty large list. And it doesn't mean that you can buy a DJI drone. As a matter of fact, DJI came out, obviously I'm sure this has kind of uh, affected their sales. I saw a lot of people saying, well, should I buy? Should I wait to buy a drone? Should I even bother buying a DJI drone? So um, the, the bottom line, this could have an effect on the following. Um, the DJI drones that use FLIR cameras, we know the DJI Enterprise lineup, the Mavic 2 Enterprise uh, use the FLIR camera. Now we saw DJI last week release a new drone, I talked about this, and this was the Enterprise Advanced. And actually on this drone, they didn't have a FLIR camera. FLIR is an American company, that's the reason I'm, I'm talking about this. Uh, so if FLIR, from now on, I'm guessing, if they wanted to sell their technology to DJI, then they would have to use uh, the special approval in order to do this. So that's it. That's really the bottom line. Now, from a, from a personal standpoint, from a personal opinion, I think this is actually an interesting move uh, because it's going to make it more difficult for companies to actually sell the parts to a Chinese company and companies like Flair, I'm sure this was one of their big customers, but uh, this is just kind of a side note. So uh, that's it. That's really all that there is to know about this big 
um, this big blacklist if you want the story that we've seen all over the place. The next story I want to talk about is the holidays. So first off, happy holidays from everyone at Pilot Institute. Uh, this has been a tough year, I know, for a lot of you, especially if you're trying to start a drone business. I know it, this is not the, the normal landscape that we've seen in the past. So uh, keep up the effort. This, this eventually will go away and eventually we'll see better times. And I, I certainly hope that 2021 will be much better than what 2020 has been for, uh, for a lot of people. Um, with that being said, a lot of people are going to get drones in 2020 and uh, for Christmas. And uh, you are now in a position, if you're watching this channel, you're either one of our students or you're probably somebody who's been flying drones. And I have a request. And my request from you is to be an educator, is to help people that are getting new drones to understand what it takes to, safe, to fly safely. And, um, and there's a few things that, and it doesn't have to be complicated, especially if people are flying as a hobbyist, um, tell them they need to register the drone, over 250 grams, right? Tell them they can fly over people, they can fly over 400 feet, that's a big one. They have to be within visual line of sight and also make sure that they get airspace authorization before they fly. So those are the kind of the basic, basic things. If people can stick to doing this, I know there's, there's more of these in the list, but if anybody just needs like a very quick, I call it the elevator pitch, right? I don't call it this, but uh, the, the quick elevator pitch to someone. So help someone. If you know someone who's getting a drone, help them. Just tell them the, the, the basic rules of how to fly. Don't be too, um, how can I say this? Don't, don't be too judgy about it. Uh, try to approach them and be educative without being just a, a pain in the butt and trying to say, well, you can't do this, you can't do this, right? So that's, that's kind of what I want you guys to do for the holidays. I know there's going to be a lot of, uh, a lot of drones under the Christmas tree this year. So uh, it's, it's up to us. This is us as a community. It's up to us to do this. So I'll get off my soapbox. That's all I'm going to say. The last thing I want to talk about is a quick update from Pilot Institute. Uh, we just reached 50,000 students, which is just absolutely amazing. And uh, we just got 10,000 followers on our YouTube channel. So the channel is growing extremely fast. Uh, love, love all the comments from you guys. As a matter of fact, somebody uh, made a comment last week, uh, a new person that came on board and they watched the video, they liked it, they went into the comments and they were amazed at the kind of comments that we get in the comment section. And, and I have to agree, this is very atypical for YouTube. We see a lot of very uh, constructive comments from people uh, talking about the topics that are important at the moment. So, uh, so thank you. Thank you for doing that. Uh, you guys are the reason why we have this channel, why we keep putting time into uh, making videos for you. And we've got a really cool lineup coming up for 2021. So I'm excited about this. Um, that's all I'm going to say. Next week, I'll be back in the studio. Uh, next week, we probably will be talking about a remote ID, I'm going to guess. So I know I guessed it last week. I, I was kind of off, but, you know, that's uh, the way predictions work. Um, I'd rather be at home and be working on remote ID than being on the road and having to work on that for you guys. So um, with that being said, that's it. Happy holidays. I will see you next week and fly safe and go educate someone, please.